Hello everyone, my name is Jesse. And I'm Chris. And we're excited to share with you the Refresh Studio experience in VizCon. We've done a lot of different considerations here to really streamline the workflow and to make it easier to generate in the tool. Here I'm in the workbench view in VizCon and the role of Studio is a much more focused mode compared to generating in you know, the infinite canvas workbench. Um, so you, know, you can have all your images here and drop your inspiration, but really being able to you know, double click into one of these and focus on an image and sketches is really a purpose in why we build um, Studio. There's three major updates that we've made to the Studio experience to really refine, again, how users can go through the process of creating in the tool. The first one is the updated Studio layouts. So we've totally re-engineered the um, panels and how um, they kind of function in order to create more flexible layouts um, that are more adaptable to different screen sizes. It's gone from something very static to something that you can completely customize and save as your own. Yeah, so if you just go ahead and grab the top bar of any of the panels, you can go ahead and drag it into place. So these can snap to the sides of your interface. They can be resized. Um, as well as, you know, collapsed in order to kind of hide and show them according to uh, whatever your workflow needs. Um, so really excited about just the ability to, across screen sizes from a, a Wacom to an iPad, being able to configure your layout within Vizcom. The second new piece is the new sidebar that highlights all of the AI workflows that you're used to and some new ones as well. Yeah, so before the different ways to generate in Vizcom were kind of scattered throughout the app, but what we wanted to really do is streamline, you know, the, how you accessed all of these to make sure that you can kind of move through these different creation processes with ease. So here you can see on the right side of the screen, you have create, modify, variation, make 3D, as well as adjust. Kind of starting in create allows you to have what you're used to in VizCom, um, being able to prompt and choose a palette. Modify allows for natural language prompting in order to edit your concepts. You have a dedicated variation tab that allows, allows you to do color variations, form variations, and other custom variations as well as a make 3D panel, allowing you to have a little bit more control and settings over 3D. This has a lot of the make 3D settings you're used to, in addition to some interesting new ones as well. Yeah, so being able to choose quad topology, low poly, and even determine um, if this is separating various parts of your design, or if you're able to you know, generate within a particular bounding box um, to ensure that you can get accurate dimensions uh, with your generations. Okay. We're gonna do a full workflow now. Chris, could you demonstrate the instant render feature? Yeah, so if you go to the new create panel, you have this few different actions that you can select from. So if I go ahead and do instant render, what this is gonna do in the back end is VizCom is going to prompt, um, determine a prompt based on my input, as well as set the drawing influence so you don't have to worry about that um, going through. And you can see the results appearing in the bottom right there. And this is the new unblock generation workflow. So at any time, your generations are accessible up there. And this panel is, of course, adjustable and movable like any of the others. And the results will not block you from continuing to edit your drawing as they're being generated. Yeah, so the nice thing is being able to just continuously kind of adjust your settings and being able to reprompt. Um, and then whenever you're ready to review them, you can go ahead to the results panel um, and those will have loaded um, and you can go ahead and review those and um, compare that um, with your you know, sketch to make sure that you have generated in that correctly. The Studio Refresh isn't just about the new flexible layouts or unlock generation. It's also about allowing the studio to grow into the future. We want to be able to unlock new and interesting AI workflows, and we want to be able to have the space for you to be able to interact with them. Yeah, and this just gets us closer to you know a future where VizCom is this powerful tool that can be used again in the studio focused mode, as well as in the infinite canvas in order to generate and create concepts and just allow or, um, empower designers um, to create and generate with AI. Yeah, we're always improving VizCom and we want to make sure that we keep the door open to what comes next. Yeah, so really excited for you to try out this new flexible studio uh, with the included sidebar and the results panel. And uh, yeah, excited to hear what you think. Thank you.